Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today we are back inside the 20 minute Minecraft world. Now last time if you recall, you know what, I'll just link the video. Feel free to check out the video if you're interested in any of this. Without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so first thing of order, we gotta start the timer. The timer's there because the timer's there to tell us the time. It's not that complicated, so I hope it's not. So. Uh, we're continuing the quest of building our uh, iron farm. Hopefully this will be the last episode. Hopefully. Um, it's coming over here. I, I probably need to check up on the uh, villagers. So I'm hoping they aren't too angry with me. I don't see, like, you know, some time has passed. So I will probably need to abduct three of them. I went the completely wrong way, didn't I? I can only blame myself for that. There we go. So let's see. Ooh. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then they're making an eleventh right there. And then twelve. Yeah, so it looks like we have enough, so I'm just gonna throw them over some more bread. So we'll give them a second or two. Because you know villagers will be villagers, and we want as many villagers as we can probably get our hands on. Um so I suppose while that's going on, I can do something I haven't done in a while. I can, uh, finally, after just about all of this time, work on the farm. Because I know I said I was going to do that like an episode or two ago. So suppose I suppose now is the perfect time to do that. So we have an axe, we have some water. So yes, let's go over and quickly do that. We might have to expand the farm because now we have... All of this uh, new stuff to play around with. Well, when I say new stuff, I mean uh, we have a whole lot of. No way, sad cat. Hi, cat. I want you. No, no, no. Wait, don't run. Don't run. Okay. So, it might despawn. Oh no, I w I want it. I'll I'll get a cat eventually. I promise. Cause I'm I'm a huge cat fan. I promise. I promise, please. Here, if I get 50 subscribers. I will start a quest for a cat. Okay, I we're at 29 right now, so smash that like button, hit that subscribe button if you want to see me get a cat. Uh, we're actually one subscriber away from getting another dog, and you guys haven't even named the last dog, so you guys are a bit behind in that sense. So it's kind of up to you guys to uh, do. do oh yeah, right. I need to go over and get the seeds. So. Yeah, so it's kind of up to you guys to uh, name the dog, and I don't mean to say you guys have been slacking, but uh, the dog's still not named. It's the one with the red collar, which I have lost. So I don't know really what that means. <laughs> he's, he's kind of a lost dog. Uh, we, we will find him eventually. Anyways, I should probably start the time lapse for you guys. So I know I talked about this a few videos ago, like 10, maybe even 20 videos ago, but something which I think would be really cool is if I kind of have a grid on top of the farm with droppers and stuff that will just put water on the farm automatically. That way I do not have to worry about placing water and then the items despawning. I'll just be able to flick a leather and then water will drop down from above because of this grid system will have above the farm. And I'll just run across the land, pick everything up, replant, call it a day. Hopefully shouldn't take more than 10 minutes because efficiency is kind of what I'm going for in this world. So if you guys have like any opinions on that or any suggestions on how I can make that better, then feel free to let me know. So I'm just going to make another uh, round or two, but I think that's this entire farm out in pretty much record time. Because I'd say up until this point, we've been what three-ish minutes and then i started on the farm at like roughly the three minute mark so now that we're at the eight minute mark that took us like five minutes i'm hoping to find ways to make that even shorter so stay tuned for that because i'm hoping i have a few ideas uh, I'll, I'll talk about them in the time lapse so you guys probably already heard them but uh yeah anyways we are definitely good on meat like we probably don't need any more for this playthrough but you know what? You can you can never have too much. You can never have too much. Anyways, this is perfect timing. It is uh, nighttime now, which means we can quickly come over here and uh, see how many villagers we currently have in bed. Boom, boom. You ready? Let's see. 
So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, so we need one more villager in and I can start loading them in. And I'll load them in while they're young. Okay, so should I just throw more bread? Here you go. I'm gonna need to ask you guys to uh, step away from here. So anyways, now the main concern is gonna be how am I gonna get them up here? So I'll throw them quickly some more bread. I'm just gonna get rid of the uh, stack I have right here. Some for you guys, some for you guys, and then one for you guys. So while they're doing their whole shaboggle, it will be up to us to find a solution, a way to get them up there. So, I'm thinking, here, do do do, let's see. How much wood do we have? So if we need, what, 12 villagers in all, so that's gonna be one too. Do I have enough for 12 boats? I do. So if I'm able to get the villagers pretty much into these boats, then at night time, I'd be, I would be able to bring them over to the uh, section over there. I'll come back, I'll destroy the beds, so that way they won't auto, will try to auto navigate to the beds they know of. And then uh, they'll be forced to jump in here into these beds, which if the tutorial is right, which is in the link below, well, the description below, if it's correct, then they should come in here with no issue. So let's quickly get some cobblestone because the smart option would be to refill the farm, but I'll do that once we have iron, because I have a plan for this. Okay, so I think we discussed what cobblestone. So we're gonna make a very direct path going from right here. And of course, I'm doing all this in cobblestone because I really don't mind if the uh, villagers, well, I, I just don't really mind at all. So we're gonna have to bring them right over here. Which then we'd need to build a wall right over here to keep them from getting over. Yes. Because villagers, as you guys probably know, are frustrating to deal with. Probably some of the most frustrating things on earth on well, this Minecraft world. So anyways, we have that. And then to make sure that they can't get past there. So ready? So I'll let them through here. They'll come through here. They'll be forced to come up these stairs. Hopefully they can make that one block jump. Just in case they can't, I am like, better safe than sorry at this point. So I'm hoping I can guide them over here, up here. So yes, yeah, so I do have a plan for that stuff over there. So anyways, the hope is to get them up here. If we can all get, if I can get them all up here, then, like they're gonna need a bit of room. I can probably start filing them into the uh, boats, and then from the boats, I can get a double gate. Do I have any wood on me? I do. So we can get a double gate. Do, do, do. Where would that be? Do I need sticks for that? I do. I do. So I'm gonna need two. So I'll just make one and another one. Boom. Do you see how funny that works out? Bada bing, bada boom. So they can come up here. I'll file them into their uh, boats. You think they'll need more room than this? So they'll come up here. I'll file them into their boats. And then, uh, yeah. So when they come up here, I don't really see them having any way of escape. Which, of course, is the thing that worries me most because I don't really want them to escape. <laughs> they'll come up here, and that's where I will put them into these boats and from these boats yeah I'll bring them over so let's see if I can do that because I have like a few minutes left to this episode so of course it's gonna be a small party to start out with and what really scares me is the uh, children so <laughs> when I say they scare me they, they really do scare me because they are the most unpredictable out of the bunch so maybe, maybe for the sake of the children for the children I will cover up each and every single possible exit. There you go. So now they can't even jump over the fence. They can't. They are stuck here forever. Okay. So let's eat some food and then uh, let the festivities begin. Hello, children. Uh, if you guys would like to come over here, you may. Yes, one. I need like three of you guys. So if you guys want to make your way up there into the secret tunnel, you just gotta make it that way. 
Just go that way. Just go this way. This way. This way. This way. Just go this way. Yes. This way. No. No, not... Can I use water? I can. No worries, I'll force you up one way or another. Oh, come on. Okay, so we might have to streamline this a little bit. So they are now more than free to go this way. So, will you guys go this way? No? What if I... Oh wait, can I trade with you guys? No, I don't have potatoes. No. I don't think I can trade with any of you guys as of the moment. Unless any of you guys have uh, trades for that. What are you guys doing over here in the corner? So I think I'm just going to take away their trades for right now. And then uh, beds are next, I suppose. <laughs> like they can't really sleep without beds. So without their beds, they kind of have no real tether to in here. Am I being... Yeah, no, this is fine. Probably. I don't need the dirt. So, boom, now they have nothing keeping them in this room, aside from, well, themselves, I suppose. And for now, I guess I can just keep their beds in here. With all the rest of the beds. Okay, so, this is not working as I thought it would. So now, will they, will they go up here? Please? Yes, no. Bad villager. Don't do that. Go up here. Yes, no, they're, it's working. It's working, yes, yes, yes. And now I need you guys to make your way up here. I don't think they're gonna wanna willingly go over to where they hear the uh, mob sounds. So I guess, oh, it's nighttime. Nice, so they are looking for beds. Yeah, which means that they would be currently looking for beds. So if I come over here and say I got a bed, then are they all gonna try their best to go towards it? Like, this is just a lot of me experimenting. Oh, it's not night. It's still day. But the sun's setting. Look at that sun. Here comes the sun. Here comes the sun. Hey there, bud. Um, it's alright. Bum, 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 bum. So let's see. If I place one bed up here, how long do you think it will take for them to come up? Please. I, I, I'm on the verge of starting to beg. Okay, now, now they're making their way up. So, now now we this will be our test group of villagers. Yes. Yes, good. Good villager. See, we are getting someone somewhere. Just get in the boat. There you go. Okay, anybody else still down here? I just need one more of you guys. Yes, you. Go. Go up. No, no. Go that way. That way. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Go that way. No, no, no. Don't go this way. No. <clears throat> okay. Okay. So, we're going to continue moving along the villagers all next episodes. So if you guys want to say, see that, uh, hit that like button. Share, hit that like share button. You know, all that normal YouTuber stuff, I suppose. Um, next episode, we are hopefully going to be moving. Oh, I just lost my chance to put him in a boat. Uh, next episode we will be putting them into the uh, farm. But if you guys like this content, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, share this video with anybody and everybody that you know, and I suppose I'll see you all tomorrow. I just dropped my pickaxe. Yeah, I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye!